quadratics lesson four. Today we're looking at solving some tough quadratics, but what we will not be doing is using the formula or our calculators. So we're still going to use trial and improvement, the AM idea we spoke of in lesson four, three. But today we're going to look at slightly harder questions. In lesson three, we looked at something like this, x squared plus 2x equals 15. And what we did was we took away the 15 from both sides. So we had a quadratic that you're used to like this, and it equated to 0 equals 0, meaning there's no height or depth of the output. It's 0, and then we can look for the roots. And we did that by putting them into brackets. Well, we're going to do something very similar today. But instead, we've got a term like this, a quadratic and a straight line. In essence, what this really is, is there's a quadratic and a straight line, and they intersect at two points, generally speaking, and you have to find those two points. So a question could be worded like that. But for now, let's go this way. Let's see this quadratic, and then this quadratic, we've got these two terms, and we want to clean up these two. So how do we do that? Well, time to clean. And the way I do that is I remind myself whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I took put two lines either side, and then I look on the right-hand side and see what needs to be undone. Firstly, I can see we've got 3x. So I'm going to take away the 3x from both sides, which leaves me with x squared plus 7x, because 10x take away 3x is 7x. Minus 22 equals minus 4. Notice I've got the minus 4. I need to do the opposite operation of minus 4, which means to add 4. Now be careful. When we're dealing with minus 22 and we want to add 4, sometimes helpful to have a number line. We're going to start at a minus 22 and we're going up 4, minus 18. So now we've got our three terms on the left hand side and it all equals 0. So let's just quickly run through how we did this in lesson 3. Remember, finding the roots, two numbers that multiply to make negative 18, we list them all out all the factors, and these examples, they're all going to be integer values. So list them all out, and then we have to say which two numbers add together to make plus 7 from that list. So let's go down, work out which two numbers you need to add together to make plus 7. There you go. So we fill the brackets in now with x minus 2 in one bracket, x plus 9 in the other. And now remember, it's an equation, it equals 0, so where these brackets equal 0, remember it means that where each bracket can equal 0. So where, what is the value of x in x minus 2 to make that 0, and what is the value of x in x plus 9 to make that 0? Hopefully you'll realise it's 2 and negative 9. So the roots of that quadratic are at 2 and negative 9. Let's look at another example x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals 14 minus 2x. Again, what we want to do is clean up the right-hand side. We've got the 14 and the negative 2. We just want to clean that up. So I do the normal thing. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. Put two parallel lines down, and then let's take each of those terms on the right individually. Let's look at the 2x. At the moment, it's a minus 2x. So what I want to do is add 2x. Now I've got my minus 5, so I want to add 2x. Remember, minus 5, add 2x, gives us minus 3x. Now I need to deal with a 14. You don't see a positive in front of that, but if it's no sign, it means it's a positive. So the opposite of adding is taking away. I take away 14 from both sides. Remember the number line might also help you here. Minus 14, minus 14, minus 28. So we've got our, what we might think of a regular way of writing our quadratic, equaling zero. So here's my equation. Normal thing, two numbers that multiply to make negative 28. List them all out and then say which do these two add together to make negative three. Look through your list until you can find the ones when you add them together, they make negative three. There you go. These then get put into the brackets x plus 4, bracket, x minus 7, bracket. Remember, these equal 0. So what value do I put in x plus 4 for that to be 0? And what value do I put into x minus 7 for that to be 0? Hopefully you come out with x equals negative 4 or 7. I hope this has helped you.